so we will start. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sébastien Beja, and I'm from Wikimedia France. Uh, and we will talk together about uh, how to diversify chapter sources of funding. Uh, as you probably know, before beginning, uh, as every French, uh, I didn't show the English option when I was born, so I tried to do my best to speak an understandable English I will give you my strange, strong accent. Uh, I know some of you are not coming from the fundraising area, so I try to make it simple uh, at the maximum. Uh, so I work for nearly a year for Wikimedia France uh, as a fundraising and sponsorship manager. Uh, I was initially hired to manage and develop the, the annual fundraising campaign uh, we did at the end of 2012. Uh, it was rather well and we raised around 1.6 million of euros. Uh, so, why are we to diversify our sources of funding? Uh, given the vexing restriction on international uh, transfer of French funds, uh, we, we stopped the fundraising agreement in early spring. Uh, I remind you that in France, 66% of all uh, donations are tax deductible, which it means, uh, in fact, 66% um, of donations are paid or supported by the government. So this international transfer could be related to tax evasion, according to the tax authorities. Uh, we had no other choice but to address this problem by finding uh, new sources of income uh, to supplement uh, our FDC allocation, which was, uh, which was in fact an amazing opportunity, because uh, it, it forces us to open ourselves, it forces us to be more transparent and to communicate more uh, about our project and our actions. Uh, when I was a child, my, my grandmother told me, uh, my little rabbit, never put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, it's what we did, in fact. So, uh, let's see how many baskets you could have. Uh, in 2012, uh, as you can see on the graph, 97% uh, of higher revenue were composed of donations, and uh, almost all of them came from the fundraising campaign. Uh, and only 3% came from uh, other sources, uh, from membership, uh, subsidies, and uh, financial products. So, uh, I will first uh, detail all action we did until now, and those who will be done shortly. Uh, even if it does not correspond to a large amount, we already have other sources of income. And in the first place, uh, there is the membership. Every chapter has members. Uh, our members pay membership. Uh, it's has 12 uh, euros for uh, students or jobless people and 24 for uh, normal members. Or 100 for who, give a, who want to give us uh, more. Uh, so that was already our first sources of funding uh, in 2012. Uh, secondly, we have donations. As I explained, uh, we, were, we will not participate to the, the next fundraising campaign. Uh, but over the past year, we accumulated a lot of uh, donors' contacts, uh, but we never used them, in fact. Uh, the only contact we had with our donors were, were the sending of the tax receiver. So, first, uh, we changed our software database. Uh, I will come back on this point later. And we implemented a new donor process. Uh, I call it the boat donor process because it looked like, so, like a boat. Uh, in the first point, uh, you have to communicate about your project, your action. Uh, in fact, what did we with your money or what we will do with your money. Uh, you have to remind them what it what is the, um, the associative project of uh, Wikimedia and what, our, what are our specificities. 
Uh, so we created a quarterly magazine, the Wiki Review. Uh, I bring some with me, so you could have uh, them uh, at the end of the, the station. Uh, you have to involve uh, your members uh, in your project and understand what are their motivations. And of course, you, you have to request. You, we are here to ask for money, so you have to develop an argument based on our specification, first point, and their motivation, the second one. And you have to, you have to say thank you. Uh, I think it's the most important part of all the, all the process. Uh, if you forget it, you can be sure they will not give you again. Uh, and to finish, there is the loyalty. You have to, you have to involve them, uh, to invite them to the meeting you're planning to do in their town, to keep them in touch with your agenda. Uh, it's up to you. But you, you have to, to do something about that. Uh, to avoid exhausting our database quickly and smoothing our review on the on the year, we propose to our donors to have a kind of monthly donation by automatic debit. Uh, besides, if some of you are interested, we develop uh, and we pay the necessary development of CVCRM extension uh, to, to the establishment of the automatic debit according to the European standard, the SEPA. Uh, and this software is open and free, so if some of you are interested, we can talk together about, about it. Uh, and I'm looking for co-funding uh, for new features uh, through a Make It Happen uh, campaign. So uh, we can talk together about uh, this point. Among our donors, some people make donations occasionally larger than the average uh, amount. So we decided to set up a group involving, involving this category of donors uh, in the major donor circle. Uh, this individual donor are subject to a special solicitation plan, uh, which is in several stages. In the first step, we have to identify them. Uh, we extracted them from our database uh, ac according to criteria like uh, donation, uh, the amount of donation, the frequency, uh, the place where they live. Uh, anyway, and uh, second, we, we have to communicate to communicate about the circle uh, to these people by highlighting the fact uh, that. This group is for uh, VIP donors only. Uh, for example, the Wiki Review uh, is print for uh, major donors and sent by email for uh, classical donors. Uh, this is what I call the silent step, uh, where we presented uh, the, the project, we communicated about it, and in the same time, we prepare uh, communication tools for uh, this uh, kind of donors. In the second step, we will communicate about project they could support. Uh, the, best way, the, the, the best way is, I think, to see them face to face if you can. Uh, organize kind of uh, annual event like a major donor party or something like that. But the, this project presentation uh, have to go with a kind, of, a kind of recognition plane, uh, which will offer them promotional consideration. For example, for a donor who give you ten thousand uh, dollars, you can offer a meal with the president of your chapters or a night. It's up to you. Uh, but if you have a medium or a long-term project, um, and and you want to finance it. Uh, support of a lot of uh, all the projects thanks to your major donors uh, the best way is to work in capital campaign method for those who already participate uh, 
keep in mind the gratitude and the loyalty uh, for your donors, uh, especially for major donors. He has four times less expensive in terms of uh, time and money than to find another major donor. Uh, next point, we have the call for projects. We have no result to match as much as possible uh, our project. We have called for projects uh, launched by foundation or corporate organization or public corporation. Uh, for example, the Orange Foundation launched uh, in late June a call for project for digital international project. Uh, the, the topic was the digital as a lever for development. Uh, imagine an innovative solution for help the poorest country. This enabled us to offer them an offline an Wikipedia offline dissemination project based on USB key uh, in primary school for uh, for French speaking uh, African countries. And now, what comes next? Uh, what are the, the plans we have to do in the few next month and year? First, the skill based sponsorship. I think less expenditure is also more revenue. Uh, by following this idea, we are looking for uh, companies or corporate foundations uh, agreeing to support us by giving us some of their skills rather than pay us money. For example, in terms of uh, administrative support, uh, they could make available for a few hours or a few days a week uh, an accountant, uh, an accounting officer, sorry, uh, to help your administrative assistant to implement some accounting process. There is the second point is subsidies. Uh, some of our projects, some of the Wikimedia movement projects, in particular those relating to the enhancement uh, of cultural and natural heritage and assets, uh, could be subject to subsidies from uh, local authorities like cities, uh, region, states, whatever. For European chapters, uh, although check if you couldn't apply to uh, subsidies from Bruxelles. Uh, and finally, some cities or region, particularly the, the big one, uh, launch call for cultural uh, and digital projects. So it might be worthwhile to have a look uh, on them. Next point, and I, I will have some time on, on this one. Uh, if you have a specific project ready to be launched, but the only thing uh, you may see is money. I think the crowdfunding can be a very, very good opportunity. Several platforms uh, now offer this, uh, this system. Uh, I think the most famous is uh, Kickstarter in Westworld. Uh, in 2012, more than a million uh, crowdfunding projects achieved their goals which is represent 2.7 billion of dollars. Uh, in 2013, this system should allow crowdfunding to rise 5 billion of dollars uh, according to forecast. So, you just have to present uh, your project in details uh, to determine the minimum amount you need to start it. And uh, to determine its uh, duration, you will have to you will have to bring together a community that support you. So let you in at time. And especially think about the counterparties. Uh, as I told you, for uh, for the major donors, they symbolize the link you will leave with your donors. So they have to be original. They have to be personalized as much as possible, and they have to be relevant. Uh, I, as I told you, for example, for very big donors, uh, a meal with your uh, president, president uh, chapters, he has, for example, a very 
good uh, solution. But the only limit on this point is your imagination. The next point, we have events. Uh, everyone can do some events. And please do not underestimate the power of the face-to-face. -face. Uh, I never search on open house day or something like that. Uh, for your donors, may be a very good opportunity to raise funds. Uh, and a very good way to secure the loyalty of them. The next point here at the he shops. Uh, Wikipedia is one of the most famous logo in the world and there is a real expectation from your donors, from uh, contributors, from users uh, on goodies. Now, I was about to experience it. Uh, we take pictures of uh, the cup collection we did for our office and we put them on Twitter. Uh, the next day I had I had a tidal wave of demand. Uh, where can I where can I buy them? I'm sorry, we, you can't. Uh, so I think it's a very good point and another interesting uh, point to develop. Uh, and the last one, but uh, that is a non-exhaustive list, and you could find uh, other way to finance your project. Uh, the sponsor, the sponsoring. Instead of patronage or philanthropy, or call for projects, uh, companies which involve them uh, financially receive uh, compensation. Uh, it could be uh, advertising. Uh, logo of the, of the companies on your project, companies, project name, anyway. Uh, sponsorship can be financial, everyone knows that, but it can be technological too, or based on skills of the companies. But uh, I want to advise you, uh, if you get yourself in a sponsoring process uh, to found a project with a very big company, please be careful. They will easily swallow your communication through their communication power. Uh, you have to be careful about how they will use your image, how they will use the image of your project, and how they will speak about your project. Uh, in my mind, in any case, check the sponsoring agreement with a lawyer. I think it will help for a lot of uh, bad surprise. And that brings us precisely to the last part, the limit of the income diversification. Uh, still keep in mind uh, the values that make us strong. I mean, uh, we are fundraiser, I am fundraiser, and I'm here to find uh, new sources of uh, revenue, of income, and to develop them. I'm not here to sell my soul at the devil for a discount. Uh, so, moreover, limits are, are sometimes tenuous and difficult to identify. Uh, for example, must we charge uh, the, the training contribution we do for uh, companies? Or, uh, yeah, or private organization uh, as a new source of uh, income? Some of you think so, uh, others think no, uh, on behalf that the, the principle of Wikipedia is it's free and open. But uh, charging our training, does it not allow us to give it a value to this one? And this is not a way to, to engage our partners. So but I, I think more global, uh, this problem right the question of does uh, something that costs nothing is it worth anything? But I, I think it goes behind the the problematic of the diversification of our revenue. Uh, so I've not the, the answer of, of this one. Uh, so thank you for your attention and if you have some question I think we have a few minutes left.
two brothers, like, you know, uh, sorry, no, Eric Mola, when he was giving tribute to Sivana, was uh, commending her for going away from diversifying funding. What do you think about that? I'm not agree with him. Okay. Um, as I told, I don't think to put all our eggs in one basket is a good thing. Um, we are kind of privileged, uh, privileged association. In 2012, uh, the donation amount, I mean in France, uh, the donation amount uh, in France uh, drop of zero percent uh, just because of crisis and a lot of them have to find other way uh, I'm not sure the donation process uh, we already use since a few years will be able to stay like that uh, every time especially if donors uh, so that we have more staff, we have uh, programs that they will not, uh, they are not alright with it. And in another way, uh, I, I speak for my chapters, um, less expenditure is also more revenue and it works with the FDC. Uh, for example, if half of uh, the, the revenue of uh, Wikimedia France come from other uh, from uh, other sources, uh, we will ask half less uh, to the FDC. So it will be uh, five hundred thousand euros more for other chapters. So maybe it's not the solution to every chapter, and I'm quite sure about it, uh, especially because every chapter has enough staff to work on these questions. But for the bigger one, uh, I think it's a good idea, and I'm not really agree with uh, what uh, our co-workers say this morning. Need to find the process because the FDC process is 
Uh, if you have more questions, uh, we can talk together later, but I will let the, the base uh, the workers. Thank you very much.